Welcome back guys to another one. So it's pretty obvious what today's video is all about. Last time I covered an item from SPC gear was this excellent gaming chair that I love. And now I'm pretty curious to see how this gaming keyboard will perform, considering that it has a very unique name to it. Deciphering the complete name, we find out that the GK630K series is made without the numpad section of your standard keyboard format, so you have 87 keys at your disposal. Then the latter pudding moniker visually refers to the dessert looking keycaps that are manufactured using PBT double injection. This will enrich the eye candy experience of the RGB to a whole new level. To finish things off, you can have this keyboard in a variety of Mac keys powered by KL and it should retail for around 60 quid depending on stock availability. Branding and packaging is on point with a keyboard in full eye candy glory visually depicted in the middle of the box, while on the back we have a list of its main selling points. There is sufficient protection inside via this plastic bag and styrofoam side pads. Regarding accessories, there is only a user's manual if you don't count the custom USB Type-C that will power the keyboard. The 180cm long cable is sturdy and has a smooth finish thanks to its braided nylon for easy gliding over surfaces and edges, while the connector contacts are gold-plated. So, here it is the SPC GK 630K Tournament RGB Pudding Edition Mechanical Keyboard, which has a sleek and compact body. The top part, despite its minimalist painted look, has an aluminium plate which increases the overall stiffness of the keyboard and its uh, premium feel. Then it's really easy to notice the eye-grabbing pudding keys, since they are basically double-layered. This is not done just from a visual rationale, but also meant to increase the longevity of the keys because the double shot caps divide the symbols and the key cap from each other. This in turn means that the marks will not wear out as fast as in a scenario with only imprinted characters. Now this is how it looks next to a full size keyboard, which has the right numerical section of course. SPC Gear went with this 87 key route to offer a highly competitive keyboard that will fit most desks with limited surface area, leaving more space for the mouse for example. As mentioned, this series is powered by Cahill mechanical keys and my sample I have the red ones. They are essentially an almost direct correspondent to the Cherry MX keys. Thus they are gaming keys as they have a short stroke, actuation point is like 2mm and the total travel like 4. They are silent in operation and require less actuation force, around 50 grams. Then the transparent base is of course for the RGB lighting. On the underside of the keyboard we have a lot of interesting features. There are 5 big rubber anti-slip pads and a practical cutout for the modular cable with tracing and routing channels. As you can see, this is where you attach the USB Type-C cable and basically you can route it in 3 different directions, middle, left or right. Then even more interesting is the built-in quick release keycap tool that has its own slot. Finally, the keyboard can be tilted in 2 extra positions thanks to the double set of fold-out feet. The first position will tilt the keyboard by an extra 5mm, while the second one will lift it by 14mm. There is a cool looking SPC Gear logo on the right top corner. Back inside the dojo, the SPC Gear feels right at home on a smaller desk like mine. Lastly, here is the RGB in action, which looks really good even in daylight. Of course, you can cycle through the 18 built in effects, adjust the brightness levels and the speed of the effects. Right off the bat, this review and its script was written on this keyboard in question. The red Mac keys may not be the best choice for large text typing, but it's still doable. Ergonomic wise, I had no problems in quickly getting used to the layout of the SPC gear when compared to my day to day Rio Toro Ghostwriter, for example. Regarding its performance in gaming, which is its main purpose after all, the KL Red Mac keys have the typical gaming response as in fast and easy to press. Since the keyboard can be had in a variety of flavor of keys, make sure to try out some of them first before you choose the right one for your needs. To further tune and customize your experience with the Pudding Edition keyboard, you must need to head over to their website and enter the unique serial number which is located on the back of your keyboard. After this you can download the proprietary software which will let you do all sorts of things from updating the firmware for the keyboard, fine tuning each key and even the built in RGB profiles or reassigning functionality for each key. On top of this you can even assign macros which can be made as you go and lastly you can even select the pooling rate from 4 levels and disable the N key rollover capability. Ability. All in all you can set up like 50 different user defined profiles, so that should take care of a wide range of experimentation. 
Suffice to say that the N key rollover function in the keyboard is full anti-ghosting, which means that no matter how many keys you press at the same time, you can be sure that all of them will be registered. This is mission critical in games that require complex commands with multiple key pressed simultaneously. To end the testing session, here is a sound sample of how the Kale Red Mac keys sound like in comparison with my Cherry MX Browns. Well, there you have it guys. In essence, this is a great looking and compact mechanical keyboard that is built really well and easy to transport thanks to its modular USB cable. The RGB implementation is excellent due to the unique pudding branded keycaps where you can customize and fine tune the functionality and the lighting effects for each key. As long as you do your due diligence in choosing the correct Mac keys for your needs and if you truly don't need a number pad, then this SPC Gear GK 630K Tournament RGB Pudding Edition is a great choice. Thank you for watching guys and see you in the next one. Alex out.